Chapter 5, Working with Topology. This will cover the three exercises in Chapter 5 of GIS Tutorial 3, Advanced Workbook. Exercise 5.1, Setting up Map Topology. So here we load and zoom to bookmark PD3. And to start the topology, we add police districts boundaries and police districts layer to participate in the topology. This will allow for uh, the manipulation of both at the same time. We select the district boundary as the line that we want to move. Uh, this will show all the existing vertices and note if we need to add vertices. Once new vertices have been added, we can move them to the uh, new desired vertices on the new boundary. There are still a few curved lines that we need to solve though. And we can do that with the Align Edge tool. Uh, we select the edge to be moved, double click the new edge, and it will align the two to the new desired boundary. Save your edits and now all three layers are aligned. Exercise 5.2. This is using a geometric network that was already established in the tutorial preceding this. So now we need to create the features using that geometric network. On the left you see two manholes and the first sewer line have been created and on the right all the lines and connections are created. This is done by tracing the uh, image that was provided for us of the entire sewer network for the subdivision. Now we validate features using the tool in the editor toolbar. Uh, select all the features and select the tool. If everything is good it will say all features are valid. If not, you can highlight the features that don't work, easily fix them, and then rerun the validation. Next we will select the sync for the network. Under attributes in the editor toolbar, you can select the ancillary role and then select sync. For this exercise, we were told to choose the uh, selected manhole there on the left side of the picture. In real world application, you would probably be reading the invert elevations of structures and uh, going off of those. Okay, now we establish flow direction. Using the network, network analyzer in the utility network analyst toolbar, we can pull up the flow display properties and select the symbol that we want to display the flow direction. On the right side, we see those arrows displaying the direction of flow for the network. And if you want to show a flow from a specific structure to the sink, uh, you can do a network trace. You do this by dropping a flag from the network analyst toolbar at the uh, desired structure and selecting trace downstream. And then as you see here, you have the uh, network traced. Exercise 5.3 covers geodatabase topology. Here we use the error inspector to check to make sure that uh, the topology is following all the rules that have been set for it. Here one rule is chosen and the errors which are violating that rule are shown in black. As one of the exercises, we're told to mark one as an exception. So I've selected one error, which is highlighted in black there on the left side. Right click and then mark as an exception. This will allow that to pass. On the right side, you see that I have the same extent selected and all of the errors are highlighted. The one that I have chosen as an exception is not highlighted, meaning that it doesn't qualify as an error anymore. 
Now we will correct an overlapping polygon. Uh, for this, the easiest tool was the merge tool. So the error is highlighted, merge is selected, and then it drops off of the error list. And you can see in the picture that that triangle is now eliminated, it has been merged into the polygon. Correcting a gap error. In a situation like this where you have city blocks and subdivisions, gap errors are highlighted all over the place because there should be no gap between parcels, but because of the streets between the parcels, uh, it throws red flags on all of those errors. So most of those can be marked as exceptions. On the left, I fixed one gap which should not have been there uh, using the edit tool in the topology toolbar. And then on the right side, zoomed out a little bit to show some of the other errors in that extent, but the uh, fixed error is no longer there. And last, we will use the extend tool to fix a dangle. On the left you see the dangle where one line has come up short where it should be intersecting with another boundary of a polygon. Just select the extend tool. The line is then extended and intersects.